It's August 18th, 2023, Friday. This is the uh, fourth day, I guess, of U of I moving. Traffic around town is intolerable. Anyhow, things are looking good. I've got three plants that are up to my nose. This is the, seems to be the healthiest plant. It's got the thickest trunk. It hasn't, uh, its flower hasn't exploded yet. This one looks pretty good. Blossom's kind of small. That'll probably pick up another couple feet before it blooms. This thing is, oh, Japanese beetle. Get the fuck off of me. Oh wow, what do we got here? So we've got the primary blossom and then there's Damn Japanese beetles, get out of here. There's some other blossoms. Armpit blossoms are. They're way behind the primary blossom. They'll probably just produce very small flowers. So it looks okay. Those last two are kind of feeble. This one's doing okay. Don't know what kind of beetle you are. Don't want you on my plant. This one's got some little blossoms happening too. Nifty. Ants. Oh, this one's gonna be a full-blown multi-headed plant. So all the seeds here came from the same sunflower plant and you would think that all the plants would therefore be gen genetically identical, but that is not the case, and the reason that's not the case is because each seed on a sunflower head is an independent entity, is an independent flower, and each seed gets pollinated separately. So each seed on a sunflower head can have different genetics. This one's been munched on quite a bit. So the general idea here is that uh, the main flower is just kind of a macro advertisement for the colony of little flowers. Each seed is an independent separate flower. So the outer flower is kind of like an ad kind of like the advertising for a mall and then each individual store is on its own. It's got a lot of heads. The lower heads are actually pretty big on this one. You can see that that's an armpit blossom with a pretty big head on it. Okay, this one here was having trouble with the wind, so I put these stakes here, and now it's leaning very hard on this one fiberglass pole here. It's given up trying to support itself, and it's just relying on the fiberglass pole. Lazy. This one's also, well, not quite as tall as my nose. Nice blossom. There's some little bitty blossoms happening here, but they're not going to catch up. I like the proportions of this one. It's got a very big head relative to its stem and ants all over it. God, there's like a million ants. Or Japanese beetle. At least they're not Chinese beetles. All right, I guess that's it for today's sunflower report. This one is looking pretty good. It's too bad the one petal's been munched. That's it.